What's up? I'm back with Sarah Chalk, Kim Whitley, and a whole audience of ladies celebrating their singlehood. Give it up! All right, we all know we don't need someone by our sides to live our best lives, and we have women in the house seats who want to share how being single has actually empowered them in ways they could never have imagined. So they're solo and happier than ever. Let's start with Lindsay. What's up? Hi, Kelly. Hi. <laughs> you know what the best part about being single is? You can date yourself. Absolutely. I just turned 40 in November and I love to fly up to Seattle. It's just like a quick 30 minute flight and I'm in a new city, even if it's just for the night, right? I love to go and stay at a five star hotel, go to dinner, go shopping, lay by the pool. It's the perfect self care weekend. What do you do to date yourself, Kelly? Oh, to date myself? Okay, this is gonna be real boring, but I'm a mom of little tiny tots. So um, I love like literally having a glass of wine, I put the fireplace on in my bedroom. That's right. I work hard. I have a fireplace in my bedroom. That's fine. And I read a book or I watch some Netflix yeah. um, or I literally just hang out with my girls. I love that. I love having just like one or two glasses, you know, a respectable amount mm -hmm. and having fun <laughs> talking, <laughs> talking like today. Um, <laughs> but I love that. What about you, Sarah? Uh, my, oh, my favorite day would be being outside hiking the dogs mm. and then doing like, I mean, bachelor ice cream in a hot bath. That would be ideal. Um, <laughs> but also, like you said, Kelly, hanging out with all of your girls. Like I, there's probably the thing I miss most in this pandemic is just having them all over inside and chatting and hanging out and making tea. I think I was a barista in a past life. So my favorite thing is I would have my friends over and they just all have like ridiculously cartoonishly large mugs and I'll just like keep the hot bevs going. Yes, mm, I like nice. it. What about you, Kim? Oh, well, that's cute what y'all <laughs> said, but look, this is the truth. Look, <laughs> let's, let's get to the truth. Mine was the truth. <laughs> yeah, yeah, all right, let's, let's get to the gritty nitty gritty. <laughs> I have a 10 year old son, I sent him off because I'm gonna date myself. Now, would I date someone else with my 10 year old son? No, so I send him off. I get some fresh batteries for my toys. <laughs> <laughs> huh? what, what? That's right, that's right, you clap. You got just keep it real. I get butt naked. <laughs> get in front of the TV. I get one of those. I get one of those big, you know, those big throws and that are soft. Asleep. And just get, yeah, I didn't want to. You know and the truth. Fall asleep. fall asleep right in front of the TV with a with a chip. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you. I was trying to make it magical. <laughs> <laughs> It's a wrap, butt naked with the little brush. <laughs> with, with a chip in my mouth. That sounds like a good time. That is a good time. I love it. This is the best part. Anytime I'm at someone's house and it's like one of my girlfriends and like their remote, like the batteries are missing from it, I'm like, where are they? <laughs> I didn't know you knew that. I did that to oh. one of my friends and she was so embarrassed and like, not that, whatever, that's not anything. And she was like, I swear to God, it's not. And I was like, mm -hmm, where are the batteries? So oh, like, you are good. <laughs> Good. That's why I keep extra remotes around. <laughs> She's got like 10 TVs. <laughs> 17 <laughs> remotes. Just in case, you oh never know. God. Oh, oh God, God, I well, love the show. Thank you, so <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much, Lindsay. Let's hear from Shamira. What's up, Shamira? Hi, Kelly. Hello. Um, so the best thing and the reason I'm thrilled to be single is because I no longer have to compete with a dog. Um, my last boyfriend had a pug and I spent the entire relationship pretending that I was okay with the dog sleeping in the bed with us, but it was anything but okay. It was dog hair everywhere and the dog was kind of a little bit of a blocker. Um, anytime we would be cuddling or snuggling up together, the dog would nestle in between us and like kind of push me away, like which is kind of <laughs> funny because it's a small dog. Um, the craziest part is that because it's a pug, it's not like it could get on the bed itself. So my ex was picking the dog up and putting him on the bed, like for us. Um, so my question to you is, what's something that you pretended to be cool with that you weren't cool with while in a relationship? Oh. <laughs> what is that? Ah, don't be trying to come to me, Sarah, what's yours? No. It's like hot potato. It's you, it's you. Nobody come wants on, this question. What's yours, Sarah? You go first. Well, this is something I pretended to like in a relationship as I was I was dating this guy who's so into music and I love music, but I didn't know as much. I was young and I didn't know as much about this. He did. He invited me to this indie 
concert of this like cool indie band at this little tiny venue. And I was like, oh my God, yes, my favorite. I'd love to. Had no idea. Went right to the CD store, bought the CD, listened to all the songs, knew all the words and got to the concert. And it was like a different indie band by the same name. Um, <laughs> oh. I had no idea. <laughs> Oh my That's awesome. God! Wait, what is? What's your? I was first. I was ready to go, but think about like the. Who has that kind of time? And even just like, <laughs> yeah, weird choice. Like, <laughs> well, mine's pretty simple. Okay. I, I, you know, I really pretended to enjoy dating this guy only on Thursdays. <laughs> I, <clears throat> his wife hated it. Oh my God! No! You are done. I didn't know. I didn't know. You, oh. It's your turn. Hot potato, your turn. <laughs> That's wrong. <laughs> Wait. My, um, I, well, one, I dated this guy, and he's, I think because I'm a singer-songwriter, like, you know, if you date, like, they feel like, oh, I'm going to write her a song, and don't. <laughs> you should just say, don't. Don't. <laughs> Thank you so much, Shamira. All right. What would a single celebration be without a gift, right? Other than just our presence. <laughs> like, I've had too much. Um, we know Cozabella is synonymous with high quality Italian luxury lingerie with iconic lace and so many fun styles and colors. They even have great PJs like the Bella pajamas and buttery soft Pima cotton. It is super soft, trust. Mm. Um, to help everyone in the house seat celebrate being single, they are giving you all a $300 gift card. So do with it what you will. Yep, I'm still here, just waiting for you to subscribe. If you don't, I'll be trapped in this box forever.